I have a story that I'm no longer afraid to share. My story is simple, my story is my own. It's got a beginning and it almost had a premature end. By the grace of God, it's still being written. Pages added, chapters unfolding. The beginning is common, a young man from a Christian home, accepted Christ at 11, and ran from his call seven years later when it was time for him to be on his own. I've seen beautiful places, beheld some lovely faces. From time to time, I've seen some amazing graces. I wore a uniform for Uncle Sam, but injury cut me down. I lost my sense of direction and began to spiral down. Alcohol and pills and other vices here and there. Nicotine addiction and guilty conscience because of my willing sin. I thought it might be too late to come back from it all. So into myself, I would further crawl. I'd visit churches full of conviction. I'd fall to my knees. But when I'd walk out those doors, Satan would call. I should have blocked his number. I should have asked God to cut him down. But I kept getting caught in his snare like a wild coyote in despair. Snarling and barking until the darkness set in. Now I work in a jailhouse. Vileness and anger abound. I thought I was okay, but in reality I was beginning to drown. I no longer saw sunrise or celebrated the winds. I was numb to it all except for the pain in my soul and the devil's nasty call. I developed real hurt of the physical sort. Nerves on fire in my body and wrenches. My brain felt tired. Every day was a battle waged in the muddy spiritual trenches. I may be a big guy, but it was just too much to bear. My mind every night were hopes of not waking up. I wished I was dead. When the morning came, I'd run my fingers over that 9 millimeter cold lead until the thoughts would scare me, though coming from my own head. Daily was the battle, thinking, how do I end it? I'd think of the ways and the places, but could never pull the trigger. Because in my heart and my soul, I kept hearing, don't do it. I've got plans that are so much bigger. Family, friends, doctors held the frayed strings together. Pills covered the receptors that made me feel the, feel the depression. It wasn't until I entered the doors of Calvary that I accepted the answer. There was God calling waiting for me to pick up. I didn't have to say hello. I already knew who it was. He didn't ask why I took so long. He just said forgiven and forgotten. He said, welcome back. Now let's work on your healing. I've got big plans. You're nowhere near your spiritual healing. God removed the medicines, the vices, the crutches, and he reminded me how to walk and talk, showed me his love in bunches. He's revealing his plan to me a little more each day. He has straightened my path and helped me not to stray. Thank you, God, for your love, your healing touch, and your son. Thank you for letting me serve until it is my day in the sun. When I hear you say, my child, your work on earth is done.